kissing his head. Kissing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. wow. French kiss, French dick. Wow. Suck it on your wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Waltz, I finally have tour dates. Australia, I'm going fucking down under. And then I'm going down under on your goddamn mother. Respectfully, Australia. Dude, I'm fucking going to Melbourne, October 25th. Brisbane, October 27th. Sydney, Australia, the 28th of October. And then Perth, the fucking Baltimore of Australia, on October 30th. I'm going to Australia. Tickets are live today. Presale, Wednesday, if you're listening. They go live Wednesday. But for you guys, it's Thursday. They're probably live by the time you're listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. go to my website, trevorwallscomedy.com, and use promo code TREV, all capital T-R-E-V. <laughs> For those tickets. But beforehand, beforehand, Michael Blaustein is going to be in Madison, Wisconsin this weekend. But then the weekend after, yep. Madison's getting fucking double teamed by the Stiff Side Boys. So, I, I, you know, I got a last minute opportunity to go out there. Uh, it's a phenomenal club. Hell yeah. So if you can see Michael and myself, this is the time to do it. Madison, Wisconsin, September 14th through 16th. It's a fucking amazing club. Comedy on state. Five shows just out of that bitch. Uh, and then I'm doing a Trevor Walsh and Friends in Los Angeles, September 21st in LA in Hollywood at the Bourbon Room. It's a Thursday. It'll be fun. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Go see Michael Blau sign. Also, Comedy on State. Michael Blaustein is going to be doing stand-up comedy. Guys, this freaking weekend, September 7th to the 9th, I will be in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, most shows are sold out, but there's definitely tickets still left, so go get some. And the following weekend, Trevor Wall is going to be there, so go see him too. September 15th to the 17th, I will be in Irvine, California. Those tickets are moving! So go get tickets. Uh, September 22nd, I will be in Los Angeles. The first show is sold out. Second show added. Some tickets left on that one. September 23rd, Santa Barbara, California. Guys, tickets are moving! It. Go get them. September 28th to the 30th, I will be in Denver, Colorado, shooting the special. Um, I think every show is sold out, but I think, I don't know. Just go if there might be tickets left. October 5th to the 7th, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, October 19th, I'll be in Stamford. October 20th, I'll be in Philadelphia. And October 21st, I'll be doing the freaking Wilbur Theater in Boston. First show sold out, second show, a little bit of tickets left. Go get tickets. Many, many more dates on my freaking, freaking website, blockcomedy.com, blockcomedy.com. Come see Mr. Wallace. Come see Mr. Blossom on tour. Let's go. In like penicillin. What's penicillin? That stops infections. <clears throat> oh, but penicillin was uh, made from a, a smart scientist. A lab? Leak theory? <laughs> Wuhan? <laughs> I'm naming my kid Wuhan. Wow. You can't fucking stop me. But penicillin, I've said this 12 times and I'll fucking say it again. You know how all these scientists are all smart? It was a fuck up. I created penicillin. Did you or did you leave fucking bread out? And it melted? <laughs> Uh, didn't people say if you let a Twinkie sit out for long enough, it turns into alcohol? Somebody? Uh, yes. Please help. Let's, let me confirm that. That's not real. What type of friends did you have growing up? I think you had like a bunch of BMX, like just taking yeah. whip ips behind a shed. No, they were all athletic. Really? Yeah. We would play out front. We'd play like uh, baseball in the front yard, basketball, I'd get dunked on. Uh, then know, some kids play video games and shit. Do you know, I'm saying do you know, yes. The 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 videos sometimes you do with Charlie's when you guys are, I don't even know what characters you guys, are, like those, Jesus. Yes, I see. Yeah, Who, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I don't know how to label that. Yeah, the that. Travis and Kyler ones. It's just like, the bro, yeah, just like, yes, just like monotone, just like no thoughts or in a brain. In my head, obviously that's an accentuated version. So but you're calling me dumb. No, sort of. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying the people that you kicked it with, in my head, or that was your childhood. It was. It's exaggerated, yeah. obviously, but like that. Am I totally wrong? Yeah. Oh, all right. A lot of my friends are just all athletic. They like. I was like the only guy like who didn't play sports. I like played sports, but I wasn't good. So I never played so for the school. Weird. I played for like the side, the side side piece district. But you're not not like you're good at paintball. Okay. You're good at golf. Yes. Like, there's certain things that like so your eye hand coordination. You're good at the not extreme whites. Have you ever played uh, croquet? No, I don't even know how like, to spell it. If there's no way I could spell it, K? I would probably spell a croissant if I tried. A hundred percent. Croissants are so good. Dude. I had a croissant with chocolate in it. That's the bitch, best way to do it. Bitch, call me Harry. Finger me behind some type of gas station. Uh -huh. I'm in. It was so good. They warmed up. Perfect. You ever give something to someone and they warm it up too much? You go. You've ruined it. Or not enough. <laughs> or not enough. Yeah. Exactly. I was on vacation with my family, and I went in this uh, coffee shop, and I wanted a blueberry muffin. And she goes, do you want to warm it up? 
And I go, in my head, I was like, it's probably fine. It's you not know, funny just asking another adult. It seems like, so, you want to warm up? And you're like, yeah, I do want to warm up. <laughs> Just so you're funny, right. like everybody's an adult here, but it, it yeah. just feels like so childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they warm it up, then do a good job. No, no, no. The opposite. I made the bad mistake. In my head, normally, a muffin's like a room temperature muffin. Yeah, so it's fine. That's okay. Yes. But this was not a room temperature muffin. This was a muffin out the goddamn refrigerator. Like they they just opened the coffee shop or something. It was yeah. cold. You ever have a cold blueberry muffin? Sounds terrible. Trash. True. I was on a sofa. pissed. Yeah. It, I, I w- so they didn't heat it up. Didn't, you, well, it was my you, fault. You didn't want to heat it I up. I said, I'm good, miss. Do you get your subs toasted at Subway or no? Yes. Uh-huh. I, I told you this. I got five seconds. And I, I requested them to take it out before they're ready. Even if they're putting, <laughs> even if they're putting, even if they're making someone else's sandwich, I will literally go, yo, can have you, you got that, please? Have you always been this way? Or do you think when you... <laughs> No, no, no. I, 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 maybe you'll see where I'm getting in a second. Yeah, yeah, the okay. older you get, the more precise you just like your things. Like like the same way that I travel and I bring my own coffee and I make coffee yeah. in the fucking hotel room. It's like 20-year-old me be like, dude, I, I don't I don't care. I'll just go down the lobby and get a cup. But like things you, have when you're younger, things haven't fucked up enough for you to be stringent on your You become specific. That's why I was so like when the Jonah Hill thing happened when he, he's with a 24-year-old, I'm like, there's no way the ones how old is Jonah Hill? 44? He's 44, she's 24. It's like, there couldn't be more polar opposites in the world. Jonah, like, a 44-year-old man knows exactly what he wants. He knows what type of uh, raisins he wants in his raisin brand. But, like, a 24-year-old, you ask them what they're up to today, they're like, I'm just frolicking, you know. I might just gallop around, you know. It's like, there's, there, there couldn't be more polar opposites. So they're going to butt heads. So I'm saying, like, were you this guy 10 years ago being like, I want this sandwich toasted for five seconds, or you've ordered enough sandwiches over time, you that, go, that, five seconds is perfect amount of time, and that, I go with this every single time. That, that. I don't know if it's a... It, I guess it is a product of age because my earlier point, I think you just fuck up enough where you know what to what to say to someone to get exactly what you need. Because Trial I've there, just, yeah, because yeah, I've just let them toast it before. And if you just let a subway worker toast it for the most part, that bitch coming out black brown burnt toast. I don't even know if it's bread anymore. It's not. It, it was not bread to begin with. Bar. Yeah, it just started, it's all crumbly everywhere. Yeah, it's a nerf, it's like nerf football ish. Do you ever throw the nerf football with the the whistle on it, yeah. Oh, fuck. I could launch that bitch. And it had a tail on the end of yeah, it. Yeah, and the noise to let everybody know you have sex. Buddy, you ever take the whistle out and fuck it? The whistle or the hole? <laughs> or the whole whistle? Hey. So how soon into your family vacation do you jerk off? It's a great question. <laughs> um, I do have you my, need to phone a friend? I had, no, I, I, uh, I think first night. Yeah. You know, I, was on, I was on zero sleep. I had to. I had shows oh, yeah, in that Oxnard. That was crazy. Oh yeah, thank you for everyone who came out. The shows are fucking awesome. Uh, but I, but yeah, I finished the Saturday show, drove home, slept for one hour, then had to get on a flight, uh, and I couldn't get a direct flight, so I had to do a little layover. I was so tired, and when I'm tired, I just want to have a sandwich and jerk off. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all I want in my life. So, pretty early, pretty early first night. Yeah. Wi-Fi was terrible. Of course. What the Out fuck? Out of your element. What's happening? So what did you do? I just had slow, like every one minute, the girl would just freeze sucking cock and then I have to wait for it it's to load. Hot, it is kind of It is kind of hot. Catch me if you can. Eh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I got, it, I got it off. I got it off plenty of times. I was, uh, mm. you know what's weird is normally the beach was would be chock full of ladies. None. Desolate. You know why? It was a fucking hurricane. I've been caught in two hurricanes in the last really? month. One in LA, which is so weird, and then one in North Carolina. Was that a real one? No. Mm. It was rain. I flew into it. Yeah, I can't believe. I, I, I just, it's hilarious. The pilot's like, we're just going to figure it out when we get there. Can't say that. But I would rather that than be delayed for like nope, two I'd rather, days. I'd rather be delayed. Delayed too? I, but I don't know what's going you on. You roll the dice? If I die in a flight, I'm going to fucking be so pissed. How do what? you want to die? Not in a flight. Yeah. There's too many people. You want to die alone? That's so sad. Not alone, but it's, you know, it's a better, gla- you know, it's more glamour on me. If I found a flight, it's like, oh, 300 plus Trevor Wallace. Well, it's boring. Yeah, but spotlight. Like, it's 300 on this flight plus Trevor Wallace in first class. <clears throat> hey, come on now. <laughs> they say what seat you're in. <laughs> yeah. uh, realistically, ugh, probably just. I don't want to die with my wife. I think she's going to be too chatty. Wait, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like on my deathbed. Oh, next to you? Like, she's going to be next to me, like, I don't know. Tell What's me the stories. What's the last thing you could hear before you die? Like, somebody's, like, on, like, I almost said table side. I'm saying guacamole. Like, what <laughs> if, like, if somebody was, like, next to you and you're about to, like, pass somebody's like, do you have a charger? 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're about to go, and then like your grand, your grandkids are next to you. Like they go, "Hey, Gramps, what rhymes with orange?" And I fucking die. die. Furious. Yeah. I need to see some cooter. <laughs> Do you think that's what you would want to see? Like you're like 96, and you're on your deathbed in hospice, and the hospice nurse comes in. They go, "You're you have 17 more minutes." Mm -hmm. Is your first impulse to be like, "Let me see some cooter quick"? <laughs> No, right? There's like uh, grandkids and your fucking wife and probably your daughters around and shit. I would want to see something. Something wild. Yeah. Some wild or warm. Give me one of the W's. Give me both. That's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say uh, like a warm chocolate chip cookie, maybe covering a tip, but vagina do be warm. God, warm cookies with some fucking vanilla ice cream on top. Maybe that. Maybe bitch. just that. Maybe just maybe yeah. just a bazooki. Yeah, because it's oh a shit, bitch. That's so good. Because here's the thing, dude. When I'm 98, I'm gonna be cootered out. 98? Cootered out. I feel you're out that today. Yeah. No, I, Are you? Uh, no. Ooh. I'm juiced up today. <laughs> oh, no. Last night? Somebody overcharged the Tesla. What do you mean? I mean, I went, on a, last night? went on a date. Didn't hey, get the cooch, right. which is totally fine. But then I, got, I got, got, you know. Did you ever rekindle with the country girl or no? We've been texting here or there. Oh, all right. Yeah. She's a, yeah, she's a, yeah, she's great. She's a nice lady. She's we'll a nice happens. lady. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know what to say. God damn. This podcast is sponsored by the amazing app Fit Bod, dude. Everybody knows working out is full of positives. You sleep better, you look better, and you just honestly just feel better better. So keep your momentum going and your progress positive with the amazing app Fit Bod, the app that creates personalized workouts based on your goals, uh, abilities, and gym setup, okay, with helping you track and visualize your progress along the way, dude. Yeah, I think it's great. It just adapts to what you have at your house. So you put in what type of workout equipment, if any, you have, and then it gives you a workout based on that. You don't even have to have a 24-hour fitness, but you can work out 24 hours and get this fitness. Fit mod. Let's go, Trademark. dude. Here's the thing. I'm actually using the app literally right now. I My apartment is under construction, so I had to go into an Airbnb. There's no gym oh, at my yeah. Airbnb, so I'm literally using this app right now. Fitbod. Uh, Fitbod, because I don't have any equipment, so it's giving me a bunch of workouts with like body weights and stuff. It's really incredible. Um, and I love the... I said it before, but I really do love the way that it tracks workouts and lets you know what muscles you can and yeah, can't use. You know, use. Like what you're sore and what you're not fully recovered on. Yeah, and everything. it's great, dude. It's really great app. And also, here's the other thing, too. If you're not like super skilled with working out, this app can like walk you through um, you know, new movements and you do it the right way uh, with over a thousand exercise demonstration videos. So if you're not, you know, you don't know some moves, it can show you some moves. It's really great. So it's never been easier to get the results you've always wanted. Check out FitBod. Get 25% off your subscription at FitBod.me slash socks. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash socks. Go FitBod. get 25% off your subscription. Go do it. Get dot jacked. Blah, blah, blah. God damn. Dude, did I tell you I downloaded Hinge? I finally got on. What? It's here's the thing. Oh, this is huge news. This is big. This is big because no, this is big news. Because you're very against it. You're like only DMs. Well, of course, but 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 I was also against it just in my strike to Raya. But I was <laughs> I, I just I got on it and um it it's I see why people get on there. It's a great flash of, um, and this is, I don't know if it's healthy. It's a great flash of like endorphins. You're like, oh, these people want me. Yeah. Like, is that, yeah, like, it's no. not healthy. Maybe it is. I don't know. But sometimes when I just was relying on like, either like just trying to meet somebody out in public or uh, just like maybe if somebody DM me, it didn't feel, it felt like there, there was such a small sample size. But like here, it's like, this is a place, like Instagram, I just post comedy on there. So if there's, oh, if I there's if, what you're so if there's horny DMs, one out of like a hundred, Great, but other than that, nobody owes it to me. It's just like, hey, we're here to laugh. Why, why bring horniness into this? Yeah. So when you're on a dating app, it's all just dating apps. So like every time you check a message, it's like a, a message from somebody who's like, oh, I have interest in you. Yeah, it's you like, I assume, I, like I, I'm going to give you an example and you tell me if I'm wrong. It's like you walk into a, like you walk to the YMCA to play basketball and <laughs> one out of, one out of, a thousand people are gonna be like, "Hey, you want to go on a date?" Because that's not a date place. Correct. But if you go to a correct. bar, correct, and then people, there's six, seven people like, "Hey, what's up? What's up?" Then we're in the context of dating. Right. Right. So yeah, your I Instagram, mean, in my example, well, it, is basketball. Goddamn! Who the hell? Exactly. Yep. It, exactly. I mean, it's it, it's this is a place for 
dates. Yes. Instagram is not that. No. I mean, a lot happens in DMs, not necessarily mine, but in life. Remember when you found out that the hidden request hidden was there? Hidden request. I can't believe you went years without knowing that. Hidden Man. request is where the, you get the horny. That's where the real, oh. that's where Instagram's like, you don't need this in your life. I got the horniest. Oh, go ahead. I'll tell so all I'm saying is it, it just, it's like, it in my head, I'm like, oh, there is, I don't want to say like people out there, but it's like, oh, there is, okay, the. There might be, oh, all right, people are interested, you know? Versus Instagram, I was you like, what, is nobody here? You didn't think that people were interested in you? I've always thought that, but it's not like, but it's like, like, I, so I didn't know how Hinge worked, but like you upload and people like like your, yeah. like your shit. Certain things, yeah. So when I woke up one morning and I was like, oh, that's like a lot of people that are like interested. Yes. But it was, I never look at the Instagram and be like, yo, DM's going crazy today. I understand. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. when we did fucking like, you know, Hannah Burner on the podcast or something right. like that, or when I was on Tana shit, there's like a lot of that. But it's like, well, on a day to day, it's just a bunch of 14 year olds being like, bring back the Kyle character, or kill yourself. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to go Christ. with the first one. I'm going to go with the first one on that. So, like, yeah. to wake up and it's like all these like messages or likes or inter interactions, I was like, yeah. oh, is it? Do it. Hit it. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Where is it? I need to label it. I'm like, is it horny hours? Yeah. And I'm looking at my phone like, we out here. There's people. There, 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 there could be potential. Oh, I could go on a date. Oh, this could be a thing. Oh, we could. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? I'm so happy for you, but this is how life gets convoluted. Wait, I'm already feeling it's like already, it's taking up time and I'm it, like, yeah. I got to not. You're taking their time. You're messaging all these people and it's all good stuff. And, and um, obviously you're going to like, you're, you're looking, you're like, you're looking for, uh, you know, you're looking for like a relationship. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like it, 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 well, it's, it doesn't feel as genuine as like maybe somebody DMing you. Cause I feel like it, this, I think I even said it before. It feels like Facebook marketplace. You both match and you're like, Hey, and they're like, Hey, and you're like, you're attractive. And then just nothing. And then you're like, is, are, is this still up for dibs? The weird thing is, is Hello? when you say something, they don't respond, and you get something in two and a half months. They go, hey, sorry, I'm bad at this. Sorry, my ex just got out of jail. Are oh, you still there? A hundred. Dude, every single time that happens, I go, cool, what was his name? You were riding cock for three months, and then his shit fell off or whatever, and then, you, you're, then, then you're perusing yeah. the next lily pad, which is do your thing. It's totally fine. Right, right, right. But it's like, but, I, I know the game we're playing here. But now, for once, and I think since I haven't been on a dating app, and, and I really hope this doesn't come off as cocky, uh, since I haven't been on dating apps in like maybe like four years, now that like maybe like the, a lot of people think it's a fake account, which is hilarious. They're like, LOL, how did this fake account get verified? I'm like... God. Yeah. The fuck am I doing here? But now it feels like um, I understand the hot girl <laughs> perspective. There's like, oh, there's like tw the, the, there's 20 messages that I got to get back to. Then they're like, I'll respond to like two or three. Like that, like that. And yeah. a lot of times you're messaging those girls. You're the guy on the other end who's not getting messaged back. Yes. And it, none of this is like personal. You're just like, I, it's just a lot going on. That's it. Yes. I think I brought this up last. That's what I'm trying to say. I think like, I brought this it, up last. It's not time. personal. You're just like, I don't. Like how, I, I I don't know. We, you commented on my cat photo. What I'm gonna be? Like, oh, great! Drinks in '69 at Bungalow tomorrow. But funny, but <laughs> but the, it's, like, but it's a you, lot. To, it's just yes. overstimulation. But the, yes, but the thing is, That's if, why I don't if they like can it. if they can have some type of like limit, I don't even know of how many people you can talk to at once before well, you're like. Well, that, but also how many people <clears throat> excuse me can interact with your account? Mm -hmm. Because if it's like. If you think about it like a bar, right? If you're like sitting in the bar and people come talk to you, yeah. you might you have a threshold for how much um, like interaction you can have before you're gonna get a little annoyed to be like, okay, all right, right. we've I'm talked out or whatever. For me, it's just hard on the dating apps because you're not getting that personal connection. So you're like, it doesn't like like when somebody like messages me, I don't have this inclination to be like, oh, I lo I love the interaction when when I met her or, or it felt if I felt something there. I want to message her. Like it doesn't like it feels like we're just like. Like starting, it doesn't feel like there's like any like incentive to respond because you're like, yeah. I don't, I don't, are we a match or not? Like, I don't, I don't know. Bro, it I, just sounds really weird, but like, I feel like you should meet somebody in public and you're, you're, that's what will make you want to respond. But like just over internet shit, you're like, here's four photos and a funny meme I, I like from the office. You're like, the fuck, how am I supposed to? Hey, dude, how, it, dude, every single time I go on a date from a, from a dating app, I, I'm like walking to the bar and I'm, I'm literally every single time I'm like, well. I hope this doesn't suck well, because yeah. you don't you you can message someone back and forth back and forth whatever but I don't know who you are at all like I went on a date literally last night and I was walking to the bar same same feeling I was literally go 
it was like almost 10 o'clock and I'm like, I hope I don't harpoon my whole night for the, and it mm -hmm. ended up being fine. But like, I it, will say maybe <sighs> the sooner you get the date Correct. in play, that's kind of what emotionally will lock you in. Mm -hmm. Cause then you're like, all right, well let's get off apps and let's just text text. There's another, there's another thing that I used to do over the pandemic, which I thought was awesome. And I really got away from it. Fucking FaceTime. Yeah. Because you can on Bumble, I think on Hinge, you can fucking FaceTime through the app. Mm. So there's no numbers exchanged. Like, hey, like, let's talk. Then you can yeah. just from a comfort your own home. I, I, I just can't get connected through just text because I'm reading yeah. it in my head. I'm like, why does she hate me? All it says is hello. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's that, but it's also, to get back to the early point, it's too... Like the value of a message becomes so low. Yes, because, because there's, there's, just, it's just a plethora. It doesn't yeah, and, like and not I, and not saying the oh, you get so many messages or whatever. But but I think every everybody for the most part I think gets a lot of messages and so are a lot of likes and with the hinge too because you can get a like and not a message. So someone can just yeah, literally like well, your yeah, shit. It's just like a lot of like notifications at once. It's just a lot of simulation, and your brain's just like I don't I don't know any of these people. I'm just like randomly like texting somebody, and then you're like. Four message in, like we should get a drink, and you're like, "Are we gonna, like, are we gonna match, like, yeah. hit it off? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I haven't met up with anybody, and I, I, I'm just like testing it out. But it is, I it's think funny. Also, I don't know. That's also part of the fun, though. Honestly, like when I was walking to the bar last night, I was like, "This could be horrible, but like kind of funny if it's horrible." Yeah. So there's there's also part of like that excitement where you are. I mean, to be truthful, course, yeah. Like, yeah. When I was when I was when I was in a relationship, that was sort of something that I like mildly missed. That just but the, the, the the build of it, the the build up of like the I don't know, like the excitement of being like like oh, seeing the, the person the for the first time, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, the unknown, starting from ground zero, starting from yeah, like yeah. probably almost negative. Like, yeah, yeah. dude, because I met, I met up with the girl last night, and we were like sort of we're not sort of we we're like vibing over text as much as you can vibe to your point over text, and then we met, and it was like. Such a slow start, dude. Really? I was like, I went to the bathroom almost immediately, and I like had a moment with myself being like, "Fuck!" Like, really? it, yeah, dude. It was like, what was it? Like, it, what? Just like she just was so so reserved, like so reserved. Like, and I know it's um, I know we first met, and I'm not like I don't right, need you right, to be like right. gregarious immediately, yeah. but like it was. It was just like she was so insular, like at well, the bar being like because everybody you hang out with for the most part is in yes. comedy. Yep. Or yelling. Yep. Or something. Yep. So you see me, you're like, you fucking me grab each other's cocks hard when hard. we see each other. And then so you see her and you're like, you have to be like, hey, what's up? And then she's just like, ha, ha, ha. And you're yep. like, oh, sorry, I don't yep. Yep. I yell for a living. Do and tell time. I do <laughs> So you just forget the people that you're around are not used to normal you. Uh twenty one minutes. Jesus Christ, 2045. Really? Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I'm fucking fired this. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I will say a lot of, <laughs> a lot of these uh, prompts on like Hinge, I really hope guys are, are probably the same way. Every girl runs the same like five jokes. That's it. Every prompt is the same like just wants me to get spicy margs and espresso martinis with. Just looking what? for just looking for a father for my dog. <laughs> Biggest fear, men. Honestly, how am I supposed to approach that? Honestly, fair. If I was a lady, right, right, right. But but number it, one, right. But like <laughs> <laughs> number one, if I was a lady, I wouldn't walk down the street. Everyone yeah. around here. Scary, but I I I wonder. I, I feel like guys probably have some terrible problems terrible. in there too. Terrible, terrible. I don't know. Do you I, do you go funny with it or do you just go straightforward? The for I uh I, I I told you guys what I say. No, yeah. I'm saying, but like, oh, you're not on Hinge, are you? Uh uh. Oh. Uh no, I am, but I deleted it. Yeah. <clears throat> I only can go two at once. I can't do. I I yeah. Can't. I, I don't know. I, I if I end up going on a day with whatever, but uh, as of right now, it's just kind of just like a time thing just to like do but it's not like it doesn't feel serious it just feels like you're just kind of like collecting matches and then you're like am i wasting people's time here sometimes it feels like i might have said this before but it feels like a like a video game it doesn't feel real and then but, when somebody is actually like approaching and yeah, real messaging yeah. you're like whoa, 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 whoa you actually want to meet what's happening yep but i mean i don't know man i i don't i don't know if i'm doing it right but i try to i try to get to a like let's go for drinks like as soon as possible because it's like I don't 
it it's uh, there's too many variables in, yes. in just reading text. So yeah, I feel that. God damn. Cock, cock, cock. You hear that? That's the rooster in between my two legs. It's blue chew, bitch. What is Listen, it? Listen, it's just blue chew, dude. They want to help you have better sex. And what does that mean? That's that's a three sixty deal. Yeah. Oh, you can get more bricked up. Great. Oh, I, already, I don't have problems with that. Okay, well, how's your round two? Not good. So we're going extra innings. Not good. Who's planning your extra innings? Are you, are you got nobody on the bench Not to me. come up? I got to knock on my door, bring in my brother. Dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> my round two is awful, dude. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same access ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet at the fraction of the cost, okay? You can take them anytime. You don't have to freaking schedule like, oh, man, I have a date at 9 p.m. Blah, blah, blah. No, just take it, dude. All right, day or night, and you don't have to plan ahead again and be ready whenever the opportunity arises. Uh, you know what else is going to be arising? Your Penis. cock, dude. Yeah, they always say first impression is most important, but what about a lasting impression? Uh -oh. oh, how is Jeremy? He... Fucking lasted so long. It's like a stallion. So hard. Stallion. All natty. That's yeah. a stallion, dude. What do you want to be known in, in the group chat as? Two pump Jack or fucking Fuckville <laughs> Trevor? <laughs> yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Discover your options at bluetooth.com. Chew it and do, do it. it and we got a special deal for our listeners try blue chew free how much money is that that is zero dollars when you use our promo code socks at checkout all you gotta do is pay five dollars for shipping help That's the it. ups people out that is bluechew.com promo code socks to receive your first month free visit bluechew.com for more details important safety information we thank blue chew for sponsoring the podcast boom go get hard god damn do you guys want to hear the most cliche hinge dating profile? I would love to. Yes. First one is, don't hate me if I eat all your food. Hate it. First of all, don't touch my food. <laughs> don't touch my food. It's my food. I'm paying for your salmon, and you're going to have a bite of my chicken? Get off my food. I don't know you. Just take out a calculator. Okay, salmon was $48, two bites, carry the three. I'll if, Venmo you. But if you want a bite, and Gabe, we're going to get back to this. If you want a bite, ask me. Where are you at on that? What? If you're on a date with some girl mm -hmm. and she just takes a bite of your chicken, no ass. Go for it. You're fine? Yeah. Because obviously something's going well. Ask me. <laughs> uh, you know what else I don't like? When I'm drinking a drink that I fucking ordered uh -huh. and then you reach over and take a little sip. You can have a sip. But, but aren't you guys all under the same umbrella here? It's like the date is you, you two. It's like it's sharing the experience. Nope. You, sharing. you just want to ask. Because the other episode ago, you're like, if a girl orders a lobster and she doesn't ask, sh sh Glock. I don't know the keyboard anymore, but you know, it's like, you just want to be asked. That's it. Can I, can I try some of yours? Is that it? A hundred percent. Hey, do you want to Anytime I want, last night, I keep bringing the girl last night. She she got a drink. She got a Negroni, actually. Mm. And I got a freaking, what I get? I got a gin, uh, 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 what do they call mojitos? Ooh. I've been a big gin mojito guy recently. Mojito. Yeah, they put extra goddamn uh, extra mint. mint. Oh, Oh, it's great. There Sometimes you, you get in the straw, doesn't matter. But hey, I like in my head I go, I would like it. I like I take a sip of that Negroni. But you know what I do? I don't just grab it like a fucking Viking. I go, hey, hey, excuse me. Do, do you mind if I have a sip of that? She goes, oh my god, no problem. Yeah. You know how I know for vibing if she asks for a, a sip of my drink and then she uses the straw. If she doesn't uh, use the straw and drinks out of and drink, dude, what if she, she grabbed a t-shirt and then just went like this <laughs> on the room? That's what people do with your vape. If you like hand the vape, they're like, oh, let me just real quick. Like, how yeah, dirty crazy. do you think I am? Yeah, that's an indictment on my fucking ass. You swiped it on a thrift store t-shirt. That's a Toys R Us brand t-shirt. Bitch, that is old. That's dirtier than my mouth. Dude, a Babies R Us hoodie fire. <laughs> <laughs> they have those? I'm sure they do. I don't know. Um, sorry. Okay, other, other, so yep. according to women, this is the most cliche prompt answer that men do on Hinge. Okay. Um, my love language is sarcasm. No. That's what guys do? Mm -hmm. No. That, I've, Anytime I, somebody goes like, 50% Italian, 50% uh, sarcastic. No, you, you can't. <laughs> Your dad's sarcasm? Sarcasm is fucking piping Italians. <laughs> sarcasm is not a person. You can't personify sarcasm. I also, just, I know for sure that you have a shit fuck personality. <laughs> if you write fifty percent sarcasm, do what? You ever, do you ever get roasted in your in your uh, dating app like DMs? Like do people? Ever, like these girls told me I look like Hopper from Bugs Life, and I almost ended it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen Hopper from Bugs Life, but pull that motherfucker up. I like. Like, there's, there's a difference between a good roast and then just a, damn, I got got.
Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Man, you, you look like... Yeah, yeah. I would go real mean. You don't look real. Bro, at look at the face. <laughs> Let me see. Not, not. Not you know? at all. Maybe. Sometimes my hair, if it's humid, it falls a little flat and I look more rounded in the face. No, this is horrible. What does she look like? Bring her up. Kind of hot. No, she's not. <laughs> what is she, 25% sarcasm? Ah! 25% sarcasm, 100% Yorkie. What does that even mean? <laughs> Sorry. Any percentage. I hate it. You Any percentage. This, this is the one I hate too. I'm um, sorry. I'm just a little. Uh, no, what, what is it? So, so, oh, oh. Um, they go. Uh, they go. I just need someone to be able to handle me. If you need someone, what are you a fucking zoo animal? <laughs> <laughs> I hope handle you, bitch. I just need someone to handle me. I don't know. I just uh, need someone for that, my. I need a thing, father like, for I, I my think, dog. I, they just make me too judgmental. Your dog hates you. Because I read sorry. a sentence and I'm like, oh, man, what is this? Of course. Everyone it's, does it's that. It's just too like, isn't that great? but people do that to me too. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Shut up! They look. They look through my pictures. They go, "This blonde fucking five nine idiot." Goodbye. Give your height on there. Uh, yeah, I have to. What does it say? Five nine. Oh. Yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you actually? Are you are you five nine? No, I'm five nine. Fucking real. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think the most common response is to controversial opinion on the on a hinge prompt? Uh, I'm, I, I might go with controversial opinion. The office isn't funny. Controversial opinion. January six was a hoax. <laughs> that would that would get some swipes. A hundred percent. Hear me out. Go Al ahead. Gore starts his own TikTok. It's called the Al Gore Rhythm. I <laughs> fucking love it. <laughs> he started the internet. He can do whatever he wants. Did he really? That's I don't know. I think that's a hoax. The most cliche controversial opinion answer on the hinge prompt is uh, pineapple on pizza. See, yeah, but here's the problem: is like that is such a meme in itself that's like been so overplayed that I'm like, oh, this person has no personality. Yeah, no. But, but why am I judging somebody off four words? Because you're right. Well, no, because you have to. You have to <laughs> no, no. find you're but, right. But but that's you if know you want to put that in your dating profile. You have the personality of tree bark. You fucking read 16 memes and that's where you're at in life. That's it, it just feels very, I don't know. It's not unique. You're corny. You're a corny idiot. You work in marketing. You graduated USC barely. You did ketamine with one professor. That's why you got a fucking D in that last class. And you fucking watch The Office while jerking off with a fucking Teletubby DVD. I don't like you. I don't I like, like you. I feel like you've written that response to somebody before. <laughs> but but is that not fucked up? It that is. they put no, that it, and you're just like, ah, boring. Nope, nope. It's fucked up that they wrote that. But here's the thing. <laughs> no, no, but here's the thing. You're Everyone's right in that scenario. If I'm being truthful, you're right for not liking that. They're She's right, right for putting that, putting that because there are dudes who will respond I'm to that. I'm saying that the worst is a guy who writes to be like, I've been saying this for years. LOL, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, rancher blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate it. Me yeah. too. The only good Every part is the validation is like, yo, these women uh, like you in some regard. Then you go, oh, all right. And then you, you fucking walk out and decide with a loaded cock. <laughs> Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I'm turning the, against it. I'm out. Yeah. The internet has made everyone homogenized. That's the fucking problem. What does that word mean? Uh, everyone's the same. Oh, okay. Everyone's the same fucking person. Okay. Because some one some something that goes super viral, everyone latches onto that, and they subconsciously or consciously now have that opinion or have that personality quirk or whatever the fuck. And so everyone's dating profile, that's how everyone's dating profile looks it, the I fucking same. I saw so same. many similarities. It was just all like, I just want to be the best best teeny in town. Girl, Yelp. Yelp is your man. <laughs> also, you Yelp do it. Yelp will lay it down. You do it. <laughs> that's the thing that pisses me off. I just want to no, find... Like, you do it. But that's fine to me. I yeah. just like... It no, doesn't like... It's not fine to me. Like, what guy is like, boy, do I know the spot. Barney's Beanery. <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you understand? That's the same. Like, if a, if, a, if a lady is like, I just want someone to show me where the best espresso martini is, right? That's the same thing as like a dude being like, I just want a bitch to make me a sandwich. <laughs> mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, no, because the real answer on this is that it's like someone that's looking for like uh, I want to go explore and I want someone yeah, that knows cool the, yeah. places. You know? Knows cool places is in the you same sink as it. me. <laughs> you find it. Why do you yeah, need but, uh, me? We all have fucking iPhones. Hey, I got one word for you. Yelp. That's what I'm saying. I'm sick of it. I don't like <laughs> fucking. But it like, wh where my head is, I go, I would say like one out of 12 prompts are like 
funny or genuine. The rest seem hack or the rest seem like too weird where it's like, oh, what turns you on? They're like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. You're like, what? I like that. Res- I like that, actually. You don't like girls who have grasshoppers. I- Praying mantises. Buddy, some, same fucking some girl sent me a fucking video of and what? she was a bad and she was she had a grasshopper in her hand in her pet. And I was like, well, I might be in now. <laughs> she was fucking bad. What, where was she holding it? It's in her hand. <laughs> what was she showing in the video? Just she was showing that she was hot and had a grasshopper. <laughs> That's literally it. What a weird thing. Yeah. And well, she's like, right I'm there six grasshopper. <laughs> the grasshopper's like, girl, put me down. Give me an ant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a fucking leaf, bitch. What a... I, all right. I don't know. I've got one more here. I love how fired up you are. But Please. I, I think the most, no, I, these are great. Yeah. I would love to go through like five right now and just see like what are the live ones on the feed. Yeah. Uh, yes. That, yeah. That's and I, I would love to get a guy's, pres- like see what the guys, because cause the guy ones oh. are just as bad. Dude's profiles are horrendous too. The amount of women that Correct. have made fun of my profile. That's what I'm saying. By the billions. So I'm, I'm not, I don't know the fuck I'm doing either. Yeah. What I don't do know. You think, that, like, that's hat- why I kind of just go super vague with it. I didn't want to like put anything that's like yeah, what's too... Yours? I think I think I, the prompts I did was like one was like what's your rational fear? I just wrote Bugs Life the movie because oh that's why she said it yeah but still don't still fuck fucked it. up <laughs> yeah th- that's even worse you you took my joke and then threw it at me you hit me with the boomerang I don't hit know me with that Badusi instead I don't know if roasting off first message it, maybe it works I don't I don't super love it roasting like third fourth message great but off top that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, see, mine are all like dumb. Like my, like I don't want people to take these serious because I think when people like put too much emotion in it, everyone's like, ah, oh, whoa, 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 that's too, that's a lot of words. Yeah, What's going on here? Yeah. So mine, mine are the yeah. These have definitely pissed people off in stupid ways. <laughs> these are my hinge prompts. And look, I'm sure women would be like, whatever. Or there's probably oh. been some women that are like, oh, yeah, one yeah. or the other. Oh, that isn't that funny? Sound is fucking hot. Gagging. I saw a porn recently that a lady. <laughs> Did you, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? That, that a lady was sucking the old D I C K and then threw up, and the dude holding his phone goes, Oh, you threw up. And oh. then a millisecond later, <laughs> shoved his cock back in. Literally said, Oh, you threw up? Like she dropped pennies on the ground. No, he should have just flipped the camera over to him and been like, Damn, again? And then went <laughs> back to it. Um, yeah, m- my prompts are stupid. Okay. I already said the bugs. That's one. Most controversial opinion is croutons are sprinkles for salad. It's Good. whatever. Good you know, it's just a quick little. Because in my head, I was making this at like four in the morning. I'm I, I'm on horny hours. Don't ask me for <laughs> to be like, ah, what, what do you want to say about being a Capricorn? Who's a you know? Like I don't fucking know. I'm just spewing shit. These are all things that I like tweeted in the past. And then I put this one. It just says I recently discovered that I put I'm too much of a lover with like three of these like huh, shoddy faces on the yeah. on the emojis. Like none of those are serious. Like, I'm too much of a lover. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're literally on a dating app. Nobody here has love. Yeah. Literally, none of them. You're on a dating app. So, like, they're all, like, joking. It's not like, I recently discovered that, you know, like, maybe there is hope in this world and, and everything's meant to be. Shut the fuck up. Edgar Allan Poe. I'm trying to Edgar Allan get throat. Okay, I'm <laughs> sick of this. Can I say, hey, what about Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe? What about Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah, but, 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 <laughs> fuck you, Gabe. Yeah, but that, but that was too, that was too on the nose. Let me say it. First of all, it was too on the nose, and we've definitely had a title Edgar Allan Poe before. Have so we? I, of course. Probably. I mean, we're like five years into this podcast. I mean, I think <laughs> once we took poetry and made it horny. So those are mine. They're generic. I just want people to like be like, whatever, this is fun enough. A lady doing poetry is hot. You know yeah. what I recently discovered? I'm super into I'm excited for this sentence. Go for it. <laughs> a woman painting Hot. is so... Yeah. What is that? Hey, because they ain't talking. Hey! <laughs> uh, no, I saw a girl painting today, and I was like, holy shit. And Dude, it was really good. I, that, God damn it. What is that? A lady, a lady with an acoustic guitar singing well alone, or a lady Dude. painting? Like with like a little bit of paint, she's wearing like kind of bigger overalls. Fucking little under boob because she's wearing like a very small shirt. And have then you she's ever like, been to a place called Silver Lake? Dare I say Echo Park? Yeah, I have. That's where they at. They hate me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Too loud. Too, yeah. Too loud. Too loud. I'm not wearing hair. A, yeah, I'm not wearing a rusty spoon, whatever they fuck they wear over there. <laughs> <laughs> I might do it. God damn. Hey, Trev, you know what freaking stresses me out, dude? What does it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Trying to buy tickets. I hate it, dude. I'm you're, stressed thinking about it. Dude, you're hunting down the best price. You know, you're competing with other buyers for popular event. It freaking sucks, dude. But you know what's great? 
Get the Game Time app, okay? It's great for buying tickets at your favorite events. You know, it shouldn't be stressful, okay? Game Time is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theaters near Theater. you, dude. With killer deals and last-minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you Guaranteed. can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll have. But you I want worry, oh, too much money at Taylor Swift tickets. I got to wear a diaper. No, fun. Or we can just wear a diaper just because you want to. I'm wearing one right now. Let me see it. BBL, Brazilian. You got it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but Brazilian I, game time. <laughs> but I, I have used this app um, a handful of times, and I really do love it. As I said before, I went to a Lakers playoff game. Sure I had did. no freaking tickets, and I used game time. It was so easy. I got amazing tickets at amazing deal. And highly, you can see highly your seats, recommend. right? Yes. You could also see your seats, which is beautiful. A lot of places don't do that. All these fucking boomer ass theaters are like, here's where your section. What am I going to be seeing? Is it a poll? The game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. Okay. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. God damn. damn. That means you make money. So snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and Boom. use code SOCKS for Socks. $20 off your first purchase. Okay, terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem your code SOCKS yep. for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. God damn. Uh, well, do you guys want to hear some of the most cliche men's answers to these dating to. I would love, love to. to. Um, so the, the most common one we get is the answer to I'm most competitive about and most dudes on there say everything. Hate it. What does that say? Also, I think if you're competitive, shut how the hell up. Are Who you gives gonna, a fuck? How, like, you can be competitive. I, I think you should be competitive about certain things, but there should be lines. Like, I don't like like playing board games where someone was like, oh, I don't know. And then get the fuck out of here. You don't know. Like I need you to care a little. If I'm playing, right, a, right. if I'm playing a team game with you and you don't care yeah, about everything, what are you fucking? I can dunk Oreos the hardest in milk. <laughs> maybe this is just. Maybe I am that person. You are that guy. Yeah, yeah. But I have lines. Then I just stop giving a fuck. But when I was like 20, I was competitive about everything, but and I would get fucking pissed. That answer would be so much better. And I think in a girl's perspective, it said board games because oh, I love game night. Everything yeah. tells you nothing about the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It this tells guy, you nothing, but it tells you everything. A, yeah. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Oh. Everything bagels. S stop after that. That's all you need. That's it. <laughs> Everything bagels are the best bagels in the world. What, what, what you, oh, let me do that, but with less things on it. Yes. That's, in, that's insane. Oh, no. Onion that's insane. bagels over everything. Onion bagels are very good, but everything onion bagels have over onion everything? Ba bagels. Yeah. You. What type of bagel do you like? Everything. Good. And Jack, I like everything. what do you like? I don't even know what everything is. What, what does you, it mean? You're from fucking Philly. How do you not know what everything bagel what you, is? What is I'm going to give you context. Do you know the word everything? Yeah, but there's not like, Go, like sour Everything at a bakery. It. Whatever, the, like every seed. Hold on, sesame, you... poppy, garlic. Oh, uh, poppy? That's what that taste Sorry. is? I didn't know that's what that taste was. You're, hold on, hold on, God, hold on. God, I want to call you words I can't say. <laughs> You're so... <laughs> hold on, Jack. Jack, hold on. That's what that taste is? Hold on. Uh, yeah, I really didn't know. I thought what, onion what, what, was what, everything. What level does a Philly school district stop? <laughs> when does it become optional? On oh, second grade, or they're like, hey, it's nap time, or you can just fucking dip. <laughs> Whatever you want. Oh. Everything? I, I, so I'm, when you you know what everything tastes like? Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it it literally, Trevor just named all of them. Did it really? Sesame seeds, poppy seeds, dried onions, There's garlic, salt. salt. There's yeah. salt, yeah. I said salt. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Dude, they sell everything seasoning at Trader Joe's, which I is have genius. It. You really? Yeah, I put it on my eggs. It's fucking unbelievable. I don't have any of my sauces because I'm living in an Airbnb right now. What do you make? Blow my brain. Are, are you every meal you're eating out? No, I got. I mean, I got groceries, but like you don't oh. realize how much little shit that you yeah, need yeah, to yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah. Like I was literally gonna make eggs today. Don't have any oil or like Pam. So I was like, cool. I guess I'm just gonna have a uh, rice and fucking chicken sausage. Cause I could. I don't have. There's so much little shit. I have no sauce. No barbecue sauce. What was ketchup? the thing you put on rice that threw the world for a spin? Oh, yeah. Uh, You're like, oh, you know, I just discovered recently I had on rice. Yeah, what, what was, was this? That? You know what I'm talking about. What? It was like with pickles. Yes, right? pickles yeah, and rice. Pickles. <laughs> pickles and rice is unreal. Like, Good? Not, not stable mentally. No, 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 no. You guys are wrong. <laughs> no, 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 you no. guys are wrong. Pickles and rice? Sir, imagine it. I'm not talking about like white fucking batsami rice. I'm talking about like seasoned rice. That's warm with like a few cold pickles. I think I'm a. I think I'm a big. Uh, <laughs> I like. I like uh, disjointed meals. Like I like something. You know what I mean? Like something that's like. Um, 
how do I say this? Like the consistencies are all different. I like it when it's like because every bite you're like, oh, what is it gonna be? Crunchy? Or <laughs> this is the guy who likes to put feet in his mouth. It's fun. It's like a little adventure. Okay, I hear you. Are you you hear me sort of? I hear you, but I don't agree. That's why croutons are kind of fun. Because wh what's going to happen? Of course. That's why I get pissed when some salad or uh, uh, pasta doesn't come with anything. Uh, it's just a vodka pasta. Well, can you add chicken to it? No, it's just sauce. So every bite's going to be the same The same. Thing. Don't like it. I it, need different. That's so bizarre. Every bite, you're like, mm, this is good. I'm going to do it again. Mm, this is good. I'm going to do it again. Mm, this is good. <laughs> Light them. Give the chef. They should come out with like a salad that's like, like quarters. Like each quarter is like a different salad. Oh, I like that. No, not bad. I like that. Not bad. Then it, yeah, that, so it's like a bowl, but the little dividers. Yeah. So then you have like macaroni and cheese, but then you have like, yeah, like six or seven different types of pasta. Do you like Korean barbecue? Yeah. So good. Fuck. I forget that it exists daily. It's so good. Do you, you get meat sweats? <laughs> People are getting meat sweats. From what? Jerking off too much? No, sir. From eating meat. Yeah. You get it? No, but I've done, done Korean barbecue. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, I went to Korean barbecue one time and then did stand up after, and I've n I felt like the crowd knew. I felt like the crowd could just smell like bulgogi on my breath. They could just smell just like piece of shit's gonna die here earlier than all of us. All oh. the goddamn sodium tonight. Yeah, I when I eat too much meat, my heart beats weird. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit. Yeah. yeah, my heart's like, what's happening? Oh, oh, sorry. Let, let's get. I'm sorry. I have, <laughs> I, I, I just remembered thing. something. Remember thing. Can I right, remember the thing? Do you okay. want to give us the thing? Yeah, sorry. yeah. So this is. Uh, what do you think the most Cliche answer that men give for their the prompt. What is your typical Sunday? Day with shirt off with the dogs, beach and a hike. <laughs> uh, an IPA. Uh, and if it's not football out. season, I fucking wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, it's actually Netflix and chill with a hard oh eyes emoji. Yuck! God. Yuck! Yuck! Dude, that's, women. What, that, that's the, the fact why that you every want to woman, fuck a guy. The fact that every woman. What the woman, fuck is wrong with you? Ladies, the, what is wrong with you? The fact that every woman is not a lesbian is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but like, how does the guy write that and be like, this will get him? Because he's a loser. He's a testosterone out, Pat's blue ribbon fucking moron. God. But that, <sighs> who reads Cosmo magazine to get a tip or two? It's, it's not good. He still has hats on his wall. Does that make sense? Yeah, and he lined them up. They're not They're not straight. They're kind of like diagonally no. down his bed. Uh -huh. Just ride the Phillies hat down. Yeah. This guy's a lacrosse stick underneath his bed. <laughs> this guy's a loser. Somebody breaks in, babe, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the most common answer for Jewish guys on Hinge for who their dream dinner guest is? Bernie Sanders. Not a bad guess. It's really not a bad guess. Uh, and Frank. <laughs> no, also not a great guy. Larry <laughs> That's David. That's pretty good. Larry, Larry David. David. What a boring. What a Larry boring David dead. would not be. I love Larry David, but he like the, everything. He like the salt's too salty. Like he, like he would not be a good guest. <laughs> I don't think he would. He's talk a great to human. You. Correct. He wouldn't talk to you. He wouldn't like you. You yeah. You ever hear that question? And it's like, would you rather have uh, lunch with Jay Z or have like half a million dollars? Half a million dollars. Easy. I would rather have fifty. Easy. I, I would love rather have five hundred dollars <laughs> and go to dinner with Jay Z. I'd be too nervous. I wouldn't have nothing to fucking say to him. Right. What are you guys? Yo, how do him? I grow my TikTok? He goes, Yeah, man, I'm a billionaire. I don't really fuck with TikTok. I spent so much money to be here, Jay. So much. Can we take a selfie? Nah. Ha ha. That's it. I'm like, let me smell your fingers. They might smell like the beehive. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> yeah. That. 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 Oh, God. That's just the most like alpha question. What would you really, when, when are you going to ever be in that scenario? When somebody going to roll up to you with a Luger 500K or Jay Z? And you're like, I, 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 what am I doing? Can with I Jay -Z? ask why this is happening first? Yeah. What are you going to learn from Jay Z that you can implement? I mean, obviously a lot, nope. but not if you're not talented. You know what I mean? Uh, Motherfucker's a shift manager at Sprint. <laughs> he's going and he's and you know what I mean. I don't fucking. Nah, 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 no, I'm, I'm trying me. to see. But if you're a sp if you're a manager at Sprint, and you take a selfie with Jay Z. Automatically, you just own Sprint. Yeah, but Sprint it's does not, not have it's a CEO. It's not worth five. Sprint does not have a CEO. Yes, it does. It's that guy. First of all, the Verizon guy changed, and no one said anything. No, they did. Oh, okay. He switched up. Got a bag for it too. Oh, sir. He got more than 500k. Does Jay Z still fuck Beyonce? Are they still married? Yeah. Yes. All right. But remember, they got in that whole fight in that elevator. What? That was Solange, wasn't it? You're right. Oh, right. But Jay-Z cheated, no? Yes. She wrote a whole album about it. Slaps. Who was the woman that he cheated on with? Yeah, I was about to ask that. I don't know if we ever found out. 
There, it's it's not was never, it was never told. All we know is that uh, she said in a, in a line of the song, uh, "Becky with the good hair." Well, um, honestly, that's like usually that's a very nice thing to say. Like, oh, with good hair, like it's a pretty compliment. Like, I feel like if an ex found out the girl, there's no way they would, like describe her in a nice manner. No, no, the big that troglodyte bitch. Yeah, <laughs> that smelled like cold pennies. Idiot can't even read the goddamn cartoons. <laughs> goddamn. Better Help. Today's podcast is sponsored by Better Help. You already know it. You love it. Uh, here's the thing. Michael and I, we are come sad. off as <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you said perfect. We all need help, you know? And I think the biggest thing is, is the, the term therapy feel you're like, I don't need it. I don't need it. But it's like, yeah, but sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. And that's what better help is. I'm a big proponent of therapy. Trevor's a big proponent of therapy, okay? It's an entirely online, designed to be convenient and flexible, suited to your schedule, therapist, okay? And you're like, well, what if I don't like that one? You can switch therapists. No hard feelings. Swipe left, swipe right. Good, get whoever's right for you, okay? And it's completely online, again, so you don't go wait in freaking traffic. It's so annoying. So you can feel comfortable. You can yes. do it where you're comfortable. Your room, your car. It's incredible. You can do it in the bubble bath if you TGI want. TGI Fridays. Wherever you want to do it. Yeah, I think therapy is great to just talk it out because sometimes those negative thoughts just kind of, you know, just build up in your head and you don't even realize that it's turning other thoughts in your head negative, but it's like you got to just get it out and sometimes you just talk it out with somebody else and you're like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But like if it just festers in there, it'll really, at least personally for me, that's what I like to talk about it with all that type of stuff. And it really does help for this, uh, just getting somebody's uh, unbiased opinion on it. Sure, you can go to the homies. Yo, Clark, this bitch cheated on me. Oh, fuck her. All right, well, maybe you shouldn't cheat in the first place. BetterHelp.com. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Okay, visit BetterHelp.com slash socks today and get 10% off your first month. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash socks. Go find some happiness with BetterHelp.com slash socks. 10% off your first month. God damn. So you have a story. this is what happened to me last night, which was kind of... Uh-oh. I don't even know... I'll t you know what? I don't even know how to feel about it. You guys let me know how I'll I feel. I'll feel it for you. Thank you. So I was on a D-A-T-E, Jack, that's supposed to date. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know, know what an everything bagel was? I thought that was the spice. Like, I thought they made a spice called everything sauce. <laughs> sauce. sauce. Jesus Christ. Yo, can I get a side of a uh, dipping everything sauce? Yeah, I didn't know it was all different things. I thought it was just called everything. What Dude, goes it, on in Philly? And everything <laughs> sauce would actually be. I think they have that. They literally they do. do. <clears throat> Fat Tony makes it good. There's a sauce for everything. I'm surprised Five Hour Energy doesn't have a fucking sauce. They should. I'd get it. So this Five Hour Energy <laughs> Jam. <laughs> Peanut butter and five energy, so good. So I was on, I keep bringing this data, but it happened to me five hours ago. That's why I keep bringing it up. So uh, we were seated. <clears throat> we're seated at like a sort of like a like a couch thing. So it's not a table. So, you, you know. You're facing each other or like sitting next to each other? We were sitting next to each other. Very close, by the way. Pretty, pretty soon after the date, we were sitting on the couch and pretty close. It was very, very nice. Anyways, so she got up and went to the bathroom. So clearly I was on a date. This lady that maybe 20 minutes ago, me and my date were talking about because she, this other girl walked over to this other gentleman and like a group of like her friends. She leans over. She had the smallest skirt on in maybe the world. She leaned over just vagina galore out. Like it was, it was a cornucopia of pussy lips. Just just wait you could see sir you could see sir she had red panties on but shit was it give me was, the security footage i don't i don't it, so uh I, I don't know if it's on purpose I, whatever i don't know but it was Your in, dates it in was, the bathroom it was in our direction the mayor of cooterville walks up yeah so Cooterville. so that happened mayor, mayor of cooterville, cooterville. Could i be would a title. let me vote mayor of cooterville oh fuck so so we had we had that interaction me the date and the girl leaning over blah blah, blah. So then, 20 minutes ago, present, my date gets up, goes to the bathroom. Blow another man. Probably. Mayor of Cooterville <laughs> walks, walks over to me. Yeah. Kneels down. Oh. Very close to me. Hand on my leg. Uh oh. Quickly and goes, hey, just want to say that I love your podcast. 
you guys are so funny. I listen to it all the time. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And in my head, I'm like, you're too close. Like, this is too close. Dates, right? I don't know what's happening. Yeah. And then I go, oh, thank you so much for, <clears throat> for listening. I said, what's your name? And she says her name. And as we're like talking, my date comes back over and sits down mm -hmm. as close as she was previously. And the girl goes, yeah, like, I know, like, you're on a date. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think we could, and my date's right there. And she's Women still the same talking. shit. The she whole, like, when guys are like, just because it's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score, which is hilarious. Leave hilarious. the goalie out of this. Yeah, He's he got has a hard too enough much job. gear on. I, I, why has he got to pr protect every day? Stop shooting on my girlfriend. Crazy. You wake up, people are just kicking soccer balls. But that's just a hot, <laughs> girl's, DMs. A hot girl's DMs is just people daily like, huzzah, 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 huzzah. <laughs> yeah. And it's our and job. Ah, and then, oh, what, one day, oh, babe, I'm going to go to Tahiti for the weekend. There's no goalie. Oh, I'm going to go to the Marines for the weekend. There's no goalie. You go to the Marines? Bro, if you got to get a, oh, hear, hear me out. This go is ahead. a crazy idea. Yep. But you get a stand-in boyfriend when you go to the Marines. It's a homie you trust. It's a don't fucking fall in love with her, but block the DMs. I'm going to be blocking these bombs from America. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, Joe Biden, what is he doing these days? <laughs> Dude, what does Mitch McConnell keep freezing for? I think it's a he bit. He freezes again? I think it's a bit. Again. I think God, it's a bit. He's, I think his wife's like, you still taking out the trash? He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's ever frozen that? <laughs> <laughs> I think Mitch McConnell would have been back to him and be like, hold up. Do you guys, I know what people, does Mitch McConnell do? I don't what, know. Is he a speaker of the house? I love when I ask people what, I don't know thing, what, he does. what people do and they say his title and I go, bitch, you think I know what that means? Uh, do you know anybody or have what, you what ever? What do you think the speaker of the house does? Go ahead. There's a house? Yep. And it needs a speaker. Okay. And it's, it's not a, a Bose. He's a speaker of the house. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Have you or a loved one ever... No. Uh, I have a friend who's fallen asleep <clears throat> mid-fucking twice. Oh, you told me this. Narcolepsis. That insane? You know how boring your no, cooter gotta be? But, dude, imagine... Bro, you think a girl called me Hopper hurts? Imagine being that girl and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, did you come? And then he's like... <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yeah, and he goes, Mommy... Yeah, I mean, Crazy. that's got to be... Him, I'm, I'm just curious how soon that phrase is going to be, like, in a rap song. Where it's like, my, my, you know, my wrist so icy, that shit froze. Miss McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably literally being recorded. Right now. Right now. Somewhere in Tarzana, two chances, like, <clears throat> hold on. Yeah, yeah. So the pussy grip so hard, <clears throat> Mitch McConnell. That one doesn't work. That doesn't really work know. at all, dude. <laughs> the first one's good, though. Yeah. So back to this thing. She's still talking to me. Date next to me, not giving one fuck. Well, I'm. What do you do? I literally. She looks like the insane. Oh well, she listens. Who? I love her. <laughs> I, I. You needed a guy. Hey, here we go. <laughs> but here's the thing: you didn't do anything wrong, and you and the date already addressed her before. No, but I felt like I was. What did, what did I your felt date like I was, do? Like, caught or something? Huh? What did your date do? Was she like, oh, okay, that's fine, huh? or was it, or was it like conversational? No, I mean, she was next to me for a good, I mean, twenty seconds, twenty five seconds before the lady left. And do you know how long twenty five seconds is when you're on a date oh, with someone and some other girl? Yeah, and then some other girls literally leaned over, hand on your leg, talking. Do you think that that um, made your date maybe like you or like want you more? Be like, damn. I mean, there's some out here, little red riding hood and trying to get in his hood. <laughs> there is, <laughs> there, there is like, like maybe, I don't, I don't know. know. It was just, I would just, I brought it up because I'm asking like, what would you do in the, because I literally, at the end, I just, I just like introduced them. Like, I, I, I don't well, know. The what, hard part is not to look douchey when you're like, I did not thank you. plan for this to happen. Like, I'm, what, it's yeah. just hard to, for that to happen. Then you go like, eh, so uh, anyways, have you tried the scampi yet? Yeah, I had to, I had to, like, she, like, eventually, like, you know, she, like, left or whatever, and I'd be like, oh, she just listens to the podcast, da, 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 like, whatever. Yeah. But, like, it was, I've never, I've never been in a situation where, like, a, a lady, like, chew your shot, but, like, it was, it was such a, I've never had that. I've never had a girl be that aggressive in front of someone and not give a fuck. It was kind of, I don't, it was insane to me. Yeah, I think that the the thing you run into, there is a chance that she's like kind of like, oh, like, wow, mm. like he's valuable or whatever. But the other thing is, it's like, at what point is it disrespectful to her? Correct. Because it is a super disrespectful move for this other woman, like while she's looking that's at what your I'm saying. date. It's like the, the girl who approached, it's kind of, if she knows you're on a date, that's like kind of, she's going out of the boundaries. Yeah. Well, she, but that's then the first thing you she said to, to me. She right. goes, I know you're on a date, even before my date came back. Yeah. So there, I wonder if there's a world where you also like could get in trouble if you don't like, 
That's what I. Off that's what I mean? thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I was that's like, how you reacted. Maybe it was a test. Maybe it was a sting operation. Whoa! Oh shit! CIA, Mitch McConnell. Dude, girls do that. If you're like dating somebody, they'll mm -hmm. hire a hot friend and be like, "Hey, can you DM my friend to see if he's loyal?" I know that's insane, dude. Crazy. I that's don't respond to any DMs. That's why none. Yeah, I would respond back and be like, find God. That's why I would just say a blanket statement every time. Find God? Yo, your boyfriend wrote back. What'd he say? Find God. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so is he loyal? I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys see uh, that Kanye West got banned from uh, this boat company because it looks like yes! he was getting head from his wife on the boat? Dude. Yes. Was there somebody rowing it or he was driving it? He was rowing it. <laughs> Guess what? With no oar. She looks like she has Lego hair. She's hot. She's so beautiful. It's like crazy. You know how people are like, oh, that's my muse? That's my muse. This could have happened to us in Amsterdam. It did, but it, I had to yeah. give her $400. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think the blurred picture is? Let's see. Hopefully a video. Ah, uh, no. Well, it looks like he's giving out, himself right? head. Yeah. yeah. His ass is or out. Or like a secret. Or is maybe this? like trying to light a joint. I mean, that's a head pose right That's there. his wife? Yes. I, every article I find about this, wife is in quotes, so I don't think they're technically married. God damn, imagine being her. She's like, what are we? Like, ah, oh, you're my wife. Yeah, what quote question mark? Where is this? A Venetian Venice. boat. Nobody? Right. So Venice. Venice, Venice, Italy. Yeah. Venice, I got it. Italy. Um, um, so funny. I mean, honestly, what a cool thing though. Oh, dude, I can't go to Venice anymore. Yeah. Why? Roadhead? Got head. Water dome. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you ever get some fucking aquatic head? Aquatic head. God damn. You ever God get head damn. on a boat? Yes. Ah. It was a swan. Oh yeah. You did. The swans in a But that's not a boat. Echo Park. That's it's a floating. Swan. True. Anything that floats on water is a boat. I've never got head on a boat. I'm a boat, dude. I wanna, uh, I wanna get like a houseboat, and like, t like vacation on like a houseboat. Yeah. Bring a lady, but if if some if shit goes awry, <laughs> what are you gonna do? How you going How you gonna get away from it? How you, you know what I mean? You get a fight on a houseboat. Where are you going? Into the water. It is funny. I'm gonna go cool off, and then you're just sitting there floating. Can you bring me the noodles? <laughs> Where do you go if you live in a studio apartment with your girl and you get an argument? This is a different corner? You gotta move out. <laughs> you gotta move out. What do you, I'm gonna go for a walk. I think so. I, that's the only, yeah, you gotta go to the library. Do people still go to libraries? You only have one door you can slam. No, you probably You can slam them. the closet Classic. door a bunch. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> bang, bang, I'm so upset. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to try to guess what the Speaker of the House does? Yes. I think uh, that there's a House of Representatives and he is the lead liaison for the House of Representatives. So he speaks for the House of Representatives. I would say the same. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he voices the opinions. He's like, when after you huddle, he's the quarterback. He's like, this is what we're going to do. Is that Mitch McConnell? Is he Speaker of the Representatives? I don't No, I don't think he's Speaker of the House anymore because the Speaker... Where do all these fucking well, politicians yeah, come from? You have to be able to speak to be a Speaker of the House. Damn, who the hell? <laughs> Where do these politicians come from? They they're they're just like like Gavin Newsom. All of a sudden they're like he's yeah. back in when COVID. They're like uh, he's eating at a restaurant. Yeah, but before this, wh 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 where was all this? When did he? You know, how did he? You know what we didn't talk about ever? His name is Gavin. That's a politician name though. No, it's not. Gavin. Gavin. Well, what's a better name? Leroy. Dude, if I got called to babysit a Gavin, yeah, Gavin's. I'm a born bringing at, a gun. You're born at 27. <laughs> Huh? You're just born at 27 oh, named Gavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A baby named Gavin? A baby sucking titty Gavin? Bro, I messed with <laughs> the other day. They named their son John. It was just now born. I was like, you have so many names. Like, you're just, eh. like, John's a great name. It's literally my editor's name. But, like, there's, like, if you're having my a child. My name, too. There you go. But if you're having a child in 2023, aren't you going to, like, give him a little fucking, like, John with, like, a Q in there or something? Yeah, but when you put too much spice, it gets weird. I met, uh, I met a couple that had a baby. Cuck? What? You met a couple? Yes. How'd you meet them? At the sex club. Nice. <laughs> no, at, co at coffee, little kid was cute. I go, oh, what's his Can't name? Can't say that. <laughs> yes, you can. Wait, where's the line? You can say kids are cute. You can't be like, oh, yo, what did you say? The line is when you start defending it. <laughs> no, no. Right, I'm fucking with you. I know, I know, I know. But what's the, what is the word that you that's too, like, hot. obviously, yeah, you can't say hot. <laughs> I've said it before, like and I'll say it again. If you if I have a kid and someone walks up to my kid and goes, yo, it's gonna be, he's going to be a lady killer. You are calling my kid hot, and and young, <laughs> young like. He, first of all, my kid is gonna be hot, and I'm well, gonna know that he's gonna be a fucking smoke show. We all know this, dude. If my kid comes out gross, 
<laughs> I'm throwing away. I'm just joking. All right. Are you going to try to have a tall wife? No. Or like a tall son? No, I can't do that. My kid is going to be so tiny. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I I like I like women who are like five one two three four. Like, there's no way my kid's gonna be like the size of a piece of squash. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, so I met this couple, um, and they had a kid, and I was like, oh, what's your kid's name? Mm -hmm. And they go, uh, Job. And I go, I go, Job. Sounds like it didn't make sense. No, it's Job. I was all oh, with a V. She mm -hmm. goes, yeah. They go, cool. What are you doing? I give them both. One normal, one weird. That way they can like What are you going to name your kid? D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want somebody who can have a name they can easily abbreviate. You know? Like if you got... I don't, I don't even know. Just what? Something you like can De Devin condense. James? DJ? Anderson or Andy. You know, there's options. Buddy, I met a guy. I met a guy. I was doing crowd work. This guy was named uh, JC. And I go, oh, I go, look, Jesus Christ. He goes, no, his name was Gene Cargo. Swear? Really? Did you fucking hear what I said? The fact that no one's doing backflips is insane. <laughs> yeah, okay, but so what funny bone was this at? Omaha? Dude, it was at Oxnard. Gene Cargo? Gene Cargo. Wow. You think I'm putting that as a clip? Yeah. Damn. I wonder Gene how many Cargo. parents like, give names like fucking around, you know? Yeah, on drugs. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there, remember uh, someone got in trouble for naming their kid COVID? It, dude, the only time that's going to make sense is when he's 19. <laughs> Hold up, I'm hard. Jove uh, means father of the sky. Jova or Jova? Jova. How do you spell it? J-O-V-E. I kind of like it. Ew. Jove. That name. You wouldn't name your kid Jove. Jove Wallace. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. No. Jove? But Jove is cool because you can go by Joe if you want. Or V-E. Mm. I think feel like you gotta name your son something with a W. Wally Wallace? No, because it's like William Wallace or like That's William cool. Wallace sounds fire. Roger Wallace. What about Do you ever think about a girl's name that you're like you think you're into and then you like picture them with your last name and you're like, nah, I wouldn't fit. Yeah. Well, my last name sucks. So anything with blouse signs horrendous. Mm -hmm. It's such like a it's like a, a blouse sign. It's such like a It's gotta fucking... be a B, maybe. Barbara Blaustein? That's a real estate agent. <laughs> yeah. Barbara, Barbara? Bla yeah, that's a girl that wakes up and takes a Xanax in 13 minutes after she wakes up. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a real Waking thing. Waking up to go back to sleep. No, dude, people take Xanax and fucking- I, I know, but like to like chill your body out. You're like, ah, and down. Yeah, they wake up, they take a Xanax, and then chug some Chardonnay, and then take their kid to work. To work. To school. <laughs> dude, is school just kid work? <laughs> <laughs> what did you call growing up then one day? Was like, grow up time. <laughs> grow up time. Childhood is grow up time. <laughs> <laughs> grow up time. Barbara Blaustein's grow up time. That's the mayor of fucking Cooterville. Is Barbara Blaustein, dude? Barbara Bush, she sucked a dick. There's no way. I jerked off in her in her bathroom. Speaking of Bush, hey, uh -oh. did you guys see the photo of Bad Bunny that he put on his Instagram story? Who Wait, did what? Bad Bunny uploaded this photo. Is to he out here with Kendall? Kendall he, Jenner, dude. I always I always mix up him and the other lady. Yeah, baby. Ba bad baby. Right. Yeah, every time someone you, says bad bunny, I always think it's bad baby in my head. Huh. Always. I say bad baby. They, they're just t two totally separate. Oh, they're so different. Yeah, yeah. They're so different. All right, what's happening? Second. I'm trying to pull this up on the screen. Okay. So the UK out here not having a president. What, what is their thing called? A prime minister? <laughs> what are they, a fucking water bottle? God damn, God damn, God damn. Who the hell? I, I hate it. I don't get it. Prime. So bad <laughs> bunny... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that reaction. That reaction. I just didn't know if I felt dumb or not. And I was mm. yeah, yeah, stupid. Pull it up. But hold on, Prime Minister. That that's their president? Do they vote for him? I have no idea. And they have a what what do they have? They have a prime minister and they got people who yell they have a circle of people who yell. Uh, uh, parliament. Parliament. Parliament's crazy. What is that? It's also a cigarette. What the heck is that? So Bad Bunny uploaded right. this photo on his Instagram Can't story. Can't do that. The internet brightened it. Bad Bunny has a huge bush. This picture's not doing it justice. There's a one that's cropped a little less. You get a little bit of dick and a little bit of bush. Wow. So he's out here bushed up on Instagram. Wow. I mean, that looks like a small bunny. <laughs> I'm on to something. <laughs> this guy, you should do comedy. <laughs> Why would you post that? Because he didn't think that people had uh, yeah, contrast true. control on their fucking phones. <laughs> so is it, this guy's dating... Uh, Kendall Jenner. How is that relationship? 
Uh, I don't, I'm going to be real. And I know I always say this, but I'm actually being serious. I do not think this is real. Their relationship. No, I think there's a lot of relationships that are just set up to like grow each other's followings or whatever the fuck. I think. I do not think they date. You, you think they go get fucking oysters together? I don't know. Maybe in the beginning it was set up like <clears throat> that, but I feel like they're always out doing shit. I, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, it's bushed up. Maybe he's growing it because he's doing a massive Manscaped campaign. That is where Manscaped should go in. Hey. A hundred percent. Where and are you at? Bushed up? Are you bu are you sh completely shaven? Not completely trimmed up. Trimmed, yeah, that's what like you got. Like a do. seven o'clock shadow. Oh, you got like a little stubble. Something. Yeah, I got something too. Too clean is just weird, dude. You ever too clean's weird? I used to be I used to be too clean, man, and it was weird. It just feels when you see too clean going in too clean cooter, it just looks like like you're kneading dough too fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not a good visual. I've also seen cooter that's too clean. I know it's kind of weird, but I, think I, like, one of the, you I know, like a little bit of some, top piece. Somebody got to be a little bit of. But I like a little bit of top piece. Hold up, like a, just a little bit. I don't want bad. I don't want a bad bunnies bush, but just a little bit. That's the brightest version of it I can find. I don't know. I think they're scrubbing. Is he in a shower? Uh, I think an outside I think shower. Like an outdoor like. shower. Yeah. What about his phone case? You fuck with it? Pink with flames. It's kind of chill. Yeah, I mean, do whatever you want. It's fucking bad, bad baby. Yeah, bunny. I mean, like. <sighs> I think eventually he'll just show his dick and then be like, yeah, and put a QR code on it and be like, new album. Yeah. You know, it's almost. Is he popular? Insane. <laughs> He's doing good? Yeah. Insane. How much do you think, hey, real quick, what do you think his net worth is on the internet? I know it's not real. What do you think his net worth is? 73 mil. I think it's 221 mil. His streams are insane. You know what's so funny? His streams are insane and he gets like a check for 50 bucks. From Spotify. <laughs> yeah. Here, take this. 88 mil as of 2022. It's fake. He's 88 mil underneath his fucking mattress. This guy makes $6 million a fucking concert. Dude, we didn't even talk about this. Goddamn, the weekend didn't... Oh, maybe we did. He did a concert and it was like 83,000 people. Some light. 83,000 83, people. Bigger than my hometown. I don't Where even Where was that? What venue can hold that? I think it was just outside. Or does it... Yeah, just be like... Meet me in Appleton, Wisconsin. Yeah, he just says, he goes, where is it? And he goes, outside. And then you got to just find it. It's a treasure hunt. I mean, that's insane. Wow. Do you think he has sex? <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. He's my idol. Speaking of the idol, freaking blah, 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 Depp, whatever her name is, she's banging, what's his name? I saw pictures on the internet. <laughs> Who? Uh, that, the, the, the kid that's... Uh, kid? Uh, hold up, Timmy T. Chalamet, I got it. Good She's banging Timothy Chalamet. Dude, Timothy Chalamet needs a tan. This guy looks like printer paper. Yeah, but maybe that's what does it. It's like this, like, f this, who is this guy? So frail, pale. Whoa. He is frail and pale. He's frail, hot pale. as fuck. That's what I'm saying. He don't need to do anything. That's if he adds true. anything, people are like, why are you doing this? Yeah, he's also hyper talented. Of course. He received an interview. Really cool guy. I mean, I don't so know if he's chill. like this in real life, but yeah. he seems like he has a personality. Yeah, he looks like his like vocab is fucking like just a hang loose. I just like, oh, yeah, sick. I've never seen an interview with him, but you I haven't. Get, no, he doesn't know that at all. I don't know. He looks chill. He he he. Chalamet. Chalamet, right? Chalamet. What is Charlemagne, <laughs> son? Is it Timothy Chalamet? No, Chalamet. 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 Sally May. That bitch takes everybody's money. God damn. Sally May suck a dick. <laughs> I think it's time for Zoc Talk. Yeah. God damn. Let's talk basketball. <laughs> Remember those Whoa. unforgettable NBA moments? Well, get ready to create your own epic plays with NBA 2K Mobile, dude. It's it the must-play mobile game for basketball lovers who want to conquer the court online. Download NBA 2K Mobile free and start customizing your My Player and Dream Team today. I played this game literally on a flight when I came back from Dallas. I had the most fun, and the freaking three-hour flight went like no time. Yeah, it was incredible, invested. dude. Dude, you're building up your dream team. Are you kidding me, buddy? I play with the Knicks. <laughs> I was having so much fun. I was talking shit to the old lady next to me. Look at this three, bitch! In your face! 
So immerse yourself in the ultimate basketball gaming experience on your mobile device like I did, dude. Get your competitive juices flowing. You can also collect player cards and build a custom team of a powerhouse and rise to the top. Showcase your skills. Climb the leaderboard and become a basketball legend, dude. Legend. Play with the virtual joystick or relax with auto mode. Best auto of all, mode. It's best, best of all, all, it's free. Free. To play on mobile. So download NBA 2 k Mobile, free on the App Store or Google Play. And use our promo code TATUM2KMOBILE to redeem an exclusive Jason Tatum pearl to your card. That's TATUM2KMOBILE, spell it out, T-A-T-U-M, TATUM2KMOBILE, M-O-B-I-L-E. TATUM2KMOBILE, get that Jason Tatum pearl to your card. Jason Tatum is so hot. Use promo code. I want to. I want to use more than that. Hey! God damn. All right, let's get into it. We have a sock talk today from Noah who says, tell me if this is hot or not. My girl wants me to wear an adult diaper while we bang. No. No. <laughs> so, no, the, no. No. Uh-uh. Well, how does he get his cock out? <laughs> and he's cut a hole. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I would need some logic behind it. Yeah, it's gonna, like, it's, like, get a, also, th those things are thick. So his fucking five and a half of C-O-C-K is now going to cut down to two and a quarter. I see what you're saying, yeah. 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 Oh, also, does does she want like a baby fantasy? Hope not. You know what I mean? Uh, Listen, whatever you're into. I mean, whatever you're into. You need me to suck your tits and say mama? Like, it, Maybe. I'll do it. If she was, I mean, dude, but if, if, you're, if my girl was into it, my girl, if I had a fucking girl, I don't have any love. I'm so sad. But if I did and she was like, I kind of like when you suck my tits and say mama, I'd do it. If it was like a, a Valentine's Day or anniversary. Or Flag Day or January 6th, I'd fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't suck it to say mama to your girl? Mama. <laughs> you like jokingly. Well, yeah, I mean. <sighs> uh, dude, two mamas, but mama, I'm like, I gotta go. Yeah, but you, you have like joke find sex. Find a pay phone and, yeah. Yeah, you have, like, your, your sex is like the Chappelle concert. <laughs> it's a concert. God damn, who the hell? I don't know where the things are anymore. No, I, I try not to have like jokey joke sex, but sometimes something happens. You're like, hey, yeah, something funny happens. You know, I almost came my pants last night. Cool, <laughs> dude. It's the it's the uh, it's the old dry hump. The foreplay gets me every goddamn time. Mm. I had to stop the dry hump. I'm a full grown man. Full I had to man. stop. Well, I'm five nine, so not really full grown. <laughs> but, I, but I had I had to stop the dry hump. Mentally, you're full grown. Yeah. 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 He's not. He's not. No. <laughs> well, hold on. Would you wear a diaper for your lady if you had one? No. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Dream girl. Like, so bad. 10 out of 10. Like, she's perfect in every way, but once a month. And most well, here's the thing. She wears a diaper in sex. She's not perfect. No. So 95% of the time, it, the sex is amazing. It's super normal. It's everything that you like. And once a month, she's like, I just need you to take a shit in this diaper. So now I got a shit in it? Yep. Where in do I put it? You gotta have sex with the shit in the diaper. With the shit no, in the diaper? No, nah, I'm in. I'm into it. Do you know how much, <laughs> too much fucking content we can get if I can talk about it on the goddamn podcast? Who cares? A little shit in the... Nah, whatever. You're shit... Uh, yeah, I do it. Bad? Who's the hottest girl you think of right now? Besides my mom. Uh, <laughs> Angelina Jolie, Laura Croft. Once a month. Yeah, once a month. That's just so weird. Once a month? That's 12 times a year. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Nah, right, what's, a, a what's a quarter? Mm. I'm out. It's still a weird thing. No, nah, it's not. It is weird, but it's like, it's not all the time. It's like every single time we have sex. Yeah. And at, when it's not that once, one time per quarter, she never brings it up again. It's not never. like she's like trying to get you to do it oh on like a random God. Wednesday. Fine. <laughs> there you go. There fine. Go. There you go. Is that what you wanted yeah. from me? Just one time. It's fine. Fucking twice. What is it? Four times a year? It's fine. Who cares? It's Angelina Jolie from Laura Croft or, Ange or, or Angelina Jolie from Gone in 60 Seconds. I haven't seen 60 Seconds. <laughs> Gone in 60 Seconds. That's the name of my fucking porn. I'm doing jokes. Um, Secret right. sock? Secret sock. Anonymous submission. I've been a longtime listener after getting hooked on the chicken salad episode and oh, been no. a Patreon member for a long time. Well, hey. thank you. Absolutely love the podcast. Have to limit myself so I'm not bored on the way to work for two days. Little background on the story. I've known for a minute now that my girl's been cheating on me, but I don't really care. Our relationship has been basically <laughs> dead for the last couple months. The issue is I want her friend and I want her bad, both for revenge and she's 100% my dream girl. The problem is, is that if I break up with her, her friend is 100% going to take her side and I'll never see her again. Wow. But if she were to break up with me, I may be able to finesse myself into the happiest situationship in my life. Just recently, I've been getting strong vibes from her friend 
For Christ's sake, I'm going hunting with her dad next weekend through a trip that she orchestrated. It's like everything is in the bag, but one wrong move and the whole bag is dropped. How can I make sure to secure the bag? P.S. Say what you want, but I've fallen in love with that blonde in my head like seven times already. I'm invested. God, this is like a this is like a house of cards. Yeah. Can um, I just say the friend knows that the, her friend is cheating on him? Oh, that's true. Yeah. So, you think so? Yeah. So she's lying. Girls to are the first to know. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Or they man. at least and, know that there's relationship problems, or that it might be not as strong. True. So, so you're saying that maybe if the friend, if he's getting vibes from the friend now, maybe the friend already knows that he's being cheated on. Yeah, and she's, I think I think what he can do is after a hunting trip, be like, "Hey, I really appreciate you setting up the hunting trip." Banter, 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 and goes, you know, like I don't know. Let's just name her Clarissa for sake, because I feel like a Clarissa would cheat. Not no disrespect to her, Clarissa. His oh. name's Jove. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you say like, hey, like I've been having some doubts about Clarissa. Like, is she cheating? Like, I just really hurt my heart. Like, I just care about her so much, and I'm just like such a lover. And just, like, <laughs> I just, you know, like I just hate to be hurt. And like, like I just, I wish I could find somebody like you. And you could like almost like segue it to be like, am I being hurt? Do you know these things? This is really good. You know, yeah. It, that way, it's you're like looking for advice, but you're also opening up. And then like maybe she's like, you know, she is kind of cheating. And then you're like, oh, that's crazy. I think I just sneeze. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know if that was a kiss or head, but I'm into it. I Both. wore a diaper for that kissing bitch. Kissing his head. Kissing. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. French kiss, French dick. Wow. Sucking on your wee wee. <laughs> kissing his head. Dude, kissing his. Dude, somebody kissed kiss a frog? Who did that? Uh, a further question. Motherfucker turned into a prince, and you said, "All right, let's marry." Bitch, he was a frog. <laughs> he was he was a frog. My and man was you, picking up a shift at Rainforest Cafe, and now y'all married. Yeah, where's your apartment? It's <laughs> on a lily pad. <laughs> it's motherfucker. Oh, you have also, a car? No, I have two back legs with springs in them. <laughs> what is that? Why do frogs do that? Motherfucker said, "Ribbit." <laughs> okay. Oh, and then you then you kiss him. You're a fucking weirdo. You kiss the frog, and then you. Blah, 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 okay, you so you guys print. are fucking. I know we're five hours in this episode. You're yelling <laughs> at me about sleeping with a girl with a, like if oh she's the dream woman of my life, but she's a diaper. All right, dream woman of your life, but one day of the month she's a frog. You step on her, you kill her. That's manslaughter. You go to jail. <laughs> but that's your yeah, frog. It's frog slaughter. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> one day a year, she's a she's like a, a poisonous tree frog. I'm honestly into it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no more stories. Just ribbit, ribbit. Fine. Give that bitch some fucking flies and walk away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Call her Michelangelo. Nope, that's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> they're boys. They're boys. All right. Um, that, yeah, that's uh, I think that's. It. I think your advice is great. I, here, I think you're. Yeah, Trevor. Yeah. I think that's literally. I got nothing at. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a win-win. Yeah. I know, listen. I know I say this a lot, but we really went on a journey here, and then we got a lot of great, a lot of great fun, a lot of great stories. You know, I think we did it. Are you going to date someone that turns into a frog once a month? Probably. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, because there's like cobwebs that I need to like get rid of. I'm like, you might yeah. grab them. From me. And here's the thing: I leave the port door open a lot. Bro, I had, a, I had a fire alarm going off the other night, like oh, four in the, fire, fire, alarm, fire alarm, four in the morning, and the ceiling I couldn't reach it. I, like I was still. Welcome I have, to my life. I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a ladder, so I had a brew before the morning. I'm just smashing a <laughs> fire alarm, and I took it off. Right, I took the battery out. This bitch still beeping. It was like you know chickens when they get their head cut off, they can run for ten seconds. It was still beeping. I well, was livid. Well, dude, fire alarms are hardwired into the house. Yeah, but when I took it off, the bitch was still beeping. Oh, oh, in your hand. Yeah. Oh Jesus. So if it's hardwired. Why is it beeping? Because I don't fucking know. Were you just vaping? I wasn't doing anything. And it just dude, went if off. If you vape so hard, you let it, yeah, it was like dead battery. Dude, if you mm -hmm. fuck so hard, you steam up a room and the fire alarm goes off, I think that's when you Poison turn into control? a frog. Yeah, exactly. Ribbit, ribbit. That's been an episode. This was four hours long. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I don't <laughs> know. Listen up, motherfuckers. Every time we drop, the audio on Wednesday comes out earlier. But if you are a loyal YouTube watcher, viewer, subscriber, turn the bell on so you're notified when the episode drops. It's usually the same time on Wednesday, but you might be forgetting, dog. Turn on that motherfucking ding ding. Turn on that bell. Turn on that ribbit so you can watch this fucking hot fire content. Okay? Do that. 
Also, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, come see Mr. Wallace, Mr. Blaustein on tour. We have a Patreon, uh, Stiff Socks Plus, so go get that bonus content, only $5 a month. Uh, and we love you guys, and uh, that is it. Toodaloo, toodle day, toodle yay. Toodaloom. Toodaloom. Bitches be at... Toodaloom. There you go.